Hey guys, um, so this war I die again, and that is awful. So I was originally going to use Doom for these first two fights, but I wanted to save some boosts. Um, specifically, uh, PS1s and class boosts, running quite low on those because of these big wars I've been having. Um, so I was just trying to save some boosts, and I thought Diablo could do these fights quite easily, and he definitely can. Um, but I mess up the Terex fight extremely poorly, so, yeah. Um, Tarkus is fine, there's a little bit of damage in the start, but after the start, there's nothing going on here. So, you know, it's nothing. Uh, but then the Terex is where this bites me in the ass, so, yeah. Definitely not a fun time having another death two wars in a row, and this is now... My worst start to a season ever in Tier 1, so that's not a great feeling. Um, but yeah, hopefully the second half of this season is much better for me. Um, two deaths and a DC already is just not great performance for me. Especially considering how easy of fights I've lost to attack bonus to. It's just ugh, disappointing. So on this Terex... I don't know what happens, but at the start of the fight, I just immediately eat a combo. I mean, I don't know what happened, but at the start of the fight, I just immediately eat a combo. Not sure if that was input issues or if I just didn't block or whatever, but yeah, not not great. And yeah, of course, when you start a fight by eating a combo against Terax, he's going to get you in the corner, and yeah, getting in the corner against Terax with all these furies and everything... It's just not a fun time. I'm trying to get out of the corner, but it was just not working. So I'm like, okay, let's try and get to our L3. So I do this. And now I'm like, okay, if I can build to my L3, I'm in a good position. And um, I do the stupid thing of doing this. Because I panicked when he pushed me back to the corner again. If I save to my L3 and throw the L3, the L3 will kill Terex. But instead I do that, and at this point I have basically no way to recover the fight. And, yeah, just a very, very dumb decision, and I played very poorly, so... Yeah, really bad death. And, yeah. Ah, <sighs> man. Really hoping I can get back on track for the second half of this season, because this has been fucking piss poor for me. And, yeah. Um, we're going back in and just cleaning up with them. I I'm not dying a second time. So yeah, fight is over. And yeah, next up we have a Mordo on nineteen. This is basically an all thing fight, so I'll just take this time to talk a little bit. But yeah, um. Definitely got really depressed after that death, because, yeah, no, ah, uh, man, two, two wars in a row dying just does not feel great, and, um, uh, two wars in a row, my battle group went 50 and 1, and the only deaths were me, and, yeah, we're the only battle group to not have donated so far, and, yeah, that feels bad, um, we are also the best on average battle group right now, so it's not like we're doing poorly. We're it's been a very solid battle group overall. It's just yeah, you know. I I know it's stupid to care about silly stuff like that, but you know, I do care about that stuff. So, yeah. Wasn't a great feeling after this death, especially. Um, but yeah, second half of the season, hopefully we can do much better and yeah, um just need to stop playing so shit. <laughs> and I mean, yeah, just really need to start playing better. It's it's just stupid stuff I'm dying to. Definitely stuff I should always be soloing, and yeah. Anywho, we are going to Path 8 with Doom. We're going to take this Odin with him. It's a pretty easy fight. Um, So this Odin doesn't really have any extra nodes or anything, it just has Sadist, or, 
opportunist. I'm not sure which one it is. The one that gives more damage for every buff on the attacker. I mean on the defender. So Odin's going to have a lot of a lot of damage. And he has the true strike, which means I don't have a lot of armor. But it is Doom, so doesn't really matter. We just want to get to world 3 and then end the fight. And yeah. Very easy to do so in a fight like this. So, yeah. There, we're at our L3. And we're ready to just end this fight. And uh, yeah. <sighs> now, next up on the next node, we're going to have a Spidey Supreme with Doom. Again, it's just a parry heavy fight. Um, so the reason Spidey Supreme is placed here is because of, um, for every unique buff on the attacker, he's going to take some of your power that you might get from Rich Get Richer, so in turn, he would be getting the Rich Get Richer power. Um, so you just want to use an option that doesn't have buffs. Um, you know, Doom is a great option, Herc, Torch, Archangel, Spider-99... All the buff immune options are pretty good for this. It, it's not a difficult fight. It's just... Um, this is basically just a trap placement. The only way you can die to this is if you're using an option that has, like, three buffs or something that you would normally use on Rich Get Richer. Um, so just don't use one of those options with a bunch of buffs, and you'll be fine as long as you can fight Spidey. So, yeah. <sighs> uh, pretty easy fight. Um, now next up on the next node, we have an Annihilus, which was the fight I was probably the most unsure about. Um, I popped an invuln for this just to be safe. I was a little bit worried about he maybe getting a bunch of L3s. So the reason this works is because, um, the armor breaks still shut down Annihilus' control rod, and this means you can still power control him. We're not going to have our nullify or anything, so we're not really going to be able to keep control of the buffs. But we can still use our power control. Um, and that's the reason why this placement works. But there are times where the power control will not work when the rod is up. And as you can see here, I go for a sidestep to try and shut it down. I missed the sidestep. That was just poor spacing. And yeah, that was a little bit unfortunate. But as you can see, we're getting ready to start going into the fight now. Just gotta focus on keeping the rod down, keeping control of the fight, and yeah, we get another sidestep there, and we're pretty much ready to go into our L3 now, and yeah, after this L3, um, Annihilus is just going to die, so, you know. Annihilus does, Annihilus, you know. Kind of a tricky defender with this tactic, I think this is a pretty good placement for him. Um, because most people wouldn't think that Doom would work for Nihilus in this tactic, but you are, of course, able to make Doom work, and then it is quite easy. Um, I've seen fights with Chavez and Absorbing Man as well. Um, I don't think Absorbing Man is particularly good for this fight. I think Chavez is okay, and, um, I think Magneto and Doom are the two that you want to rely on. Um... Like Nito and Doom, they're just, you know, mags and Doom, so they're, of course, going to do well. And, yeah, here is the Sassy on 48, pretty easy fight. I have the reeds and power backs on, as always, so I'm going to have a pretty quick time here. And, yeah, healing up to full just to be 100% sure. And, yeah, we're going to go in, and we're going to get our L3, and then we're going to spam L2s as usual, and the fight's going bent. And, yeah. Um, I've, I've done this fight so many times this season already, so I don't really know what to say, because, yeah, I feel like I'm just repeating myself after doing this fight a bunch of times, but, you know, this, this fight is a very good matchup. I do think Doom is the absolute best counter to this fight, especially if you do have the power backs and reeds on. Um, and yeah. Um, we're at our L3 and we're ready to just 
nuke him down. So, yeah. <sighs> and, yeah. First L2, we get it off. Um, does a good amount of damage, but we don't get any crits. Um, so, we're going to do an L1, and that gets me another buff to nullify, which is great, and another L2 to throw. And yeah, we're going to throw another L1, and then we're going to throw another L2, and then the fight is just going to be over. Um, yeah, pretty easy time. This lined up very well this time with um, all my specials and everything, so that was great. And uh, yeah, kill him before he enters Wrath. So next up for the Cersei, the main thing to note for the Cersei is just keeping in mind Conflictor for when you apply your poisons. And the other thing you need to keep in mind with Conflictor is if you do the L2 refresh when conflictor when conflictor is still active it will shrug um all of your poisons if you do that refresh while conflictor is up so that's the main thing you want to avoid and yeah my plan was basically just hit into her with the glancing a little bit that back off parry throw my all three um and then just keep the poisons up and she will die and yeah as you'll see it goes very very well and yeah that's going to be all for this war video i'm glad i could you know recover the rest of the war and not have another death at least and hopefully i can get back on track for the rest of the season and yeah this this performance for me just has not been good at all and yeah um take care guys i hope you guys are having good seasons and uh yeah thank you to my patreon supporters mega mikey Senior Donny, OG Highland, and MCOC Noob. The support is much appreciated, and yeah, take care, guys.